welcome to trinad chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate second year chemistry topic organic compounds containing nitrogen this is my sixth video in this topic of organic compounds containing nitrogen in my first video i have discussed about what are the various types of organic compounds containing nitrogen are present in the intermediate second year chemistry syllabus and in that video i have discussed about what are amines how amines are classified and how to name the amines in second and third videos i have discussed about various preparation methods for the amines and in the fifth video i have discussed about some of the properties of the amines in this video i am going to discuss about one of the important reactions of the primary amines is carbyl amine reaction so what is carbyl amine reaction and what is the mechanism what are the intermediates formed in this carbyl amine reaction this uh, concept this carbyl amine reaction is important not only important in ip point of view in objective point of view also this uh, reaction is most important and uh, it is important reaction for them complete the uh, entrance exams such as neat je mains or fset mset please like the video and share and subscribe the channel carbyl amine reaction what is this carbyl amine reaction when primary amines primary amines which may be aliphatic or aromatic either aliphatic or aromatic on reaction with when aliphatic primary amines and aromatic primary amines on reaction with on reaction with chloroform chloroform in the presence of in the presence of alcoholic koh in the presence of alcoholic koh when primary amines when primary amines they may be ali either aliphatic or aromatic primary amines either may be aliphatic or aromatic on reaction with chloroform in the presence of alcoholic koh or alcoholic naoh form isocyanide or carbyl amine form isocyanide or carbyl amine this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction so when primary amines such as aliphatic primary amines or aromatic primary amines on reaction with on reaction with on heating with chloroform or chloroform and chloroform in the presence of alcoholic potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide alcoholic potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide form isocyanides or carbyl amine carbyl amines this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction whatever carb isocyanides or carbyl amines whatever isocyanides or carbyl amines formed are foul smelling substances foul smelling substances this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction when aliphatic primary amines or aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform and alcoholic koh heating with chloroform and alcoholic koh form isocyanides or carbyl amines these isocyanides or carbyl amines are foul smelling substances foul smelling substances and the reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction this reaction is given only by primary amines but not secondary and tertiary amines secondary and tertiary amines 
tertiary amines do not give this carbyl amine reaction do not give this carbyl amine reaction only primary aliphatic and aromatic primary aliphatic and aromatic amines primary aliphatic primary amines and aromatic primary amines or on reaction with chloroform and alcoholic oh forms isocyanides where well, these isocyanides are foul smelling substances and this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction and this reaction is given only by primary amines but not secondary and tertiary amines and uh, this carbyl amine reaction or isocyanide test carbyl amine re reaction or isocyanide test use is used as a is used as a test for primary amines is used as a test for primary amines that is that is this carbyl amine reaction this carbyl amine reaction is used to distinguish identify is it to distinguish primary amines from secondary and tertiary amines carbyl amine test reaction or isocyanide test is used to identify the is used is a used test for primary amines and is used to distinguish primary amines from secondary and tertiary amines secondary and tertiary amines so this reaction we can write it as a primary amines so we know that aromatic aliphatic primary amines are nh when treated on heated with and heated with chloroform and alcoholic koh isocyanides are formed koh alcohol chloroform and alcoholic koh chloroform and alcoholic koh forms forms this carbyl amine reaction this carbyl amine reaction this whatever isocyanide formed it is a whatever isocyanide formed isocyanide formed is a foul smelling gas foul smelling substance uh, this reaction is given only by the primary amines tertiary amines and uh, secondary amines do not give this uh, reaction hence uh, this reaction is used for the used to distinguish it. primary amines from secondary and tertiary amines or this reaction is used as a test for test for primary amines test for primary amines similarly when aromatic amines for example if you take aniline aniline on reaction with chloroform and koh forms isocyanide phenyl isocyanide phenyl isocyanide this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction similarly when if you take methanamine chloroform plus 3 koh alcohol and the heating forms ch3 ns methyl isocyanide is formed methyl isocyanide is formed this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction what is the carbyl amine reaction when aliphatic primary amines or aromatic primary amines aliphatic primary amines or aromatic primary amines on react on heating with the chloroform and alcoholic okay, alcoholic koh isocyanides are formed these isocyanides are foul smelling substances foul smelling substances and this reaction is not given by secondary and tertiary amines hence is used to distinguish primary amines from secondary and tertiary amines this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction now what is its mechanism what is the mechanism of this uh, carbyl amine reaction
carbonyl ligand so in the mechanism initially when chloroform we know that chloroform formula is ch cl3 when chloroform is treated with koh initially c minus cl 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 is formed so this base abstracts the proton and in the second step one chlorine atom goes as a cl minus and forms an intermediate dichlorocarbene 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 intermediate is formed so the base abstracts the proton from the chloroform and forms a carbonion we know that negatively charged negatively charged carbon containing species is called carbonion so the carbonion is formed from the carbonion if it loses if it loses cl minus if it loses cl minus we will get dichlorocarbene intermediate dichlorocarbene intermediate so this is the uh, intermediate formed in this carbyl amine reaction so this intermediate carbyl amine we know that it is an electrophile we know that for example if you take phenylalanine then nitrogen contains nitrogen contains lone pair of electrons nitrogen contains lone pair of electrons so it attacks the dichlorocarbene it attacks the this is the first step formation of the dichlorocarbene intermediate and in the second step it attacks the it attacks the cc so then what is happening is n h h plus and c cl cl right so what is happening is here this is negative charge right so this is the happening this is the you know, reaction with the mechanism in the second step in the first step what is happening is and it loses cl minus and forms dichlorocarbene intermediate dichlorocarbene intermediate dichlorocarbene intermediate and uh, this dichlorocar dichlorocarbene intermediate is attacked by the lone pair on nitrogen atom the nitrogen atom it donates the uh, uh, nitrogen atom contains a lone pair it donates the lone pair to carbon and forms like this some intermediate which on further rearrangement which on further rearrangement what is happening is here one hydrogen is losing and another hydrogen is adding to the carbon and it is forming like this n h c h c n so in the next step it loses both the chlorine and pro protons and forms isocyanide isocyanide this reaction we are calling it as the carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction so when primary aliphatic amines or aromatic primary amines on reaction with chloroform on heating with chloroform and alcoholic koh it forms it forms uh, isocyanides or carbyl amines these are foul smelling substances whatever isocyanides formed these are foul smelling substances and this reaction is used to distinguish primary amines from secondary and tertiary amines this reaction is not is given give, this reaction will be given by only primary amines but not secondary and tertiary amines so this is about carbyl amine reaction so thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel